Hey guys, it's Ellen here and welcome to Mini Monday Madness and today we're painting up some mini uh, cotton paintings. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's a lot of fun. Um, there's a PDF traceable download on my Patreon if you're over there. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Let's get started. Okay, so I'll go over my supplies that I have. I have my two three inch piece of, of Arches 100% cotton cold press watercolor paper my paints I'll go over them and I always have them in the description box I have them in my palette paper towel water jars I'll be using brushes I have a Princeton eight long round brush I have a Grumbacker brush um, if you're a patreon member you get the traceable that you can like shrink down or you can blow it up whatever I did a traceable um, cotton sketch I can show you kind of how I did it here just move these things out of the way so basically you know think of like little round balls right but then you're going to make them not look like round balls you're going to have a little more interest and depth in them we're going to have like a little curve kind of here and then go in here and do that and that and then where these lines kind of meet you have this little wiggle um, part of the plant going into it and then you just go here and make a little stem coming down and then have another one forking off of that and again you can start with the ball if you don't have um, if you can just do the wiggle branch part that holds it and then again just do the part of the cotton you can put a little branch out here just like that and same thing again it's like a circle but we're doing these little indentations of the cotton and then here is where the cotton is held by the plant branch you see like that so basically it's like this little fork that holds the cotton just like that and a little one out here too so it's a fork <laughs> and then you can put like a little branch behind it or whatnot and there you go so I've already sketched mine out on the pieces of paper and I'll take my kneaded eraser and I'll take some of that drawing off because I like to sometimes I like to show the drawing but most of the time I like to take it off and paint it so we're gonna be doing color tones of like pale pale gray blues and browns pretty simple I have in my palette I have a Prussian blue a peacock blue and I have Van Dyke brown and I can set up make, making the blue cottony ball. So I have that Prussian blue and some green mixed in here, but I'll take that green out. So I got this Prussian blue, it's like a deep blue, and I got a little brown to that. Van Dyke brown. Maybe a little bit of this quinacridone magenta to get a grayer. And a good trick is either if you have a scrap piece of paper play around with the color here you know obviously if you water it down it gets lighter so I'm gonna play around with blues and browns and again here's the Van Dyke brown just water this down and you get this brown you can even make a beigey brown add a yellow here like a golden see it's pretty colors just like that and if you want the gray not so blue you want to add a little more magenta and more brown so the gray is a little more gray gray color see all right so we're going to start doing the little cotton ball guys first and then we can add the browns because those will be darker and i'm just going to zoom in a little bit and i'll make sure that's focused So we're going to just do those little cotton ball areas, just a pale gray. Like I said, if you want to add more blue to that, I'm going to just go on top here and over here. See how I just, I take some paint off and I dab a paper towel and then I just push the paint down because I wanted the top a little bit darker than the, than the bottom and the sides. Just pushing this color around here on the little balls. A 
around ball areas. I'm adding a little blue to the top, a little more blue. So basically they look like fuzzy balls. <laughs> See like that, the line I drew before I showed you. I'm just going to fill that in. And don't worry about the color over here for the brown because you're going to paint right over that. So I'm kind of wanting it lighter in the middle here and just the edges to have the dark bluish gray color. Just like that. Should be pretty simple and easy. Add a little deeper tone up here. See I'm just flooding it in with a little color. And you have your color there. Moving on to the second one, same thing. See how I've drawn those little sides of the cotton. You can keep it in a bluer tone or you can keep it in a more darker gray, not, not darker gray, but like standard type of brownish gray color. So I'm adding a little brown to this. And going in and putting it in. Again, the sides would be darker than the middle. See, I'm lifting some of the paint up and the sides would be darker. It's kind of a little tricky when you, you have to play around with the grays. So the point of my brush, this is the Princeton 8 long round, I like almost like drawing the sides. See how I'm drawing the sides here? And then I'm going to clean up my brush and then take that paint and push it down into the area. And here in the middle, I want that a little bit darker. So I'm grabbing some of my darker gray, grabbing this color, I'm mixing some brown with the blue. So just a little bit darker here. It's not gonna be like this perfect cotton. We're gonna keep playing around with the layers here. Again, if you hear some grumpy noises, that's my doggy. He wants attention and mommy's working. So I'm trying to keep the middle white and just kind of paint around it and the sides. And I'm doing the same thing down here. Just filling in from that drawing that I did. This one's a little bit looser. Where you see this? Okay, good. When this dries, I can go back in and add some more uh, detail. But for right now, I'm just kind of flushing in this pale gray tone, blue gray tone. Get a little dark here. Keep going back and forth with the two. This one feels still a little damp, but we can get some of this concentrated gray color. Making this gray again. a little darker. Taking the tip of my brush. Just getting a little outline of where those cotton kind of splits a little bit. Same thing here. It's like a little darker in the middle and splitting. You know, everyone has their way of doing it. Again, I have these little dark lines. I'm just going to kind of blend it now. I cleaned off my brush. I'm just taking some water that's on my brush and just kind of pushing that paint around a little bit. And you can even get darker still. With an even darker tone if you want. Right in the middle of that cotton. and add some blue tones. Bluer tones. Gonna water this down. Kind of like in here on the bottom.
And now I'm really meant to get rid of some of this gray. I didn't want to put it all throughout the whole entire cotton part. So I'm going to lift up some of that color just by going in and grabbing some water and lifting it up. I want to show more white because it is supposed to be cotton. So you can try and remove some of the watercolor just by taking the brush, putting some water on it and grabbing with the paper towel. Just like I'm doing here. So it's kind of white, but not really white. At this point, we can go in if it's a little dry and we can start adding in the brown part. So I have this Van Dyke brown, I have this yellowish golden brown color. I can go and add the yellow color first because we can do some layering. Remember those skein lines that I drew that kind of tug the cotton? If it's still wet, it's going to bleed, so you might want to wait till it dries. And I'm just going to put in the color in, blushing it in here. And in here. Because I want a variety of the tones. And you won't get that if you just put that one solid brown down. All right, so I'm going to keep adding this golden color. I put little leaves extending out from the cotton that it's grabbing, also on the edge here. And it's grabbing here. Very simple to do with your brush. You don't have to just go by the drawing. You can just take the brush with the tip and just push it like I'm doing here and grabbing it. Like it's a fork. Basically that's how I describe it. A fork grabbing the cotton ball. And you see how you just make the pointy, you just kind of wiggle it, putting the paint down, and adding little branches if you want. So the fork is grabbing that cotton ball with this color, this pretty golden brown color. And then we're going to add some darker tones. So now I have the Van Dyke Brown now. I can go in. Brady, stop. He's whining. I just kind of flush in some of this brown color now. See that? Can you put some on the tip? Well, it's still damp. Get even darker here where it meets it. It's just a fun little loose exercise of something to paint. And then you could do like one of those little twigs that come out here. Those little points on, like the little buds. You know, you can put another one out here. It has little buds on them. Like it's going to do another plant somewhere. I'm just adding in little embellishes. So here I go grab that darker brown, kind of grabbing it from the tip and let it bleed down a little bit. Out here, just taking the tip of my brush, just kind of grabbing some of this brown paint and washing it in here. Still leaving some of that golden color in places. I don't want to cover the whole thing. And kind of get a little darker where it meets the branch part. Very simple, easy to do. And we'll go back in on the cotton because now it's kind of blended. And we'll add in some just a little bit of details. There's a little branch. I'll add another little twiggy branch out here. These are not in my sketch, really. I mean, I just give you a sketch of ideas to do. I like mine a little different. I could put a little twig coming here. And again, add some deeper tones of this brown. You want a variety. See, it's more concentrated paint, so it makes it much darker, less water. And I'm just dabbing it. You see, I'm just touching it. Little t t places, touch, 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 touch. And it looks more natural. Touching it and tips. 
will have this natural blending blending tendency to it. Voila. Just like that. And then again, clean up my brush and I'll use the tip again. And I'll have that darker gray tone. Just going to go in and tweak in the top part. Maybe add a little bunch of lines that go down here. So I'm just getting that part just darker. Kind of like the center of the, the cotton ball. And even a little bit darker if you want to, just a little bit. Just putting little lines around the outside. This is just fairly loose cotton ball illustration. You could keep it like that, and you could add some pretty, like maybe some eucalyptus. Um, I don't show it in my sketch, but I'm going to grab some of this bluish green paint. and put like a little eucalyptus leaves just to give it some interest behind the cotton ball. Just to make it different. You don't have to do that. Um, again, I'll flush in some colors into this just to get the lead details. I like to make it a little bit different. You can have fun with this. You can just put more of those little branches. You know, you don't have to put the eucalyptus. I just put in the little one over here just to get the same kind of color tone so it matches. Kind of like the turquoise with the cotton ball. Just a pretty pale little eucalyptus type leaves here. These ones are a little bit darker. If I wanted to take out the color, just lift it up a little bit. And then I can go in and add the little vein details. It's just really pretty to add just a different variety of color to your design. And you see how simple and cute that was? Again, you can go and tweak it, get a little more details, the cotton, if you want, you know, some shadowing down below where the branch, the fork part is meeting the cotton. Just a little more of that blue shadow. Just adding that in. A little bit gray. I just keep going in and I keep kind of fiddling and adding some darker elements. Almost really deep gray in here. Give it some more depth. Same thing with the little lines with the eucalyptus. Just give it a little more depth. But there you go. Cotton. <laughs> Fields of cotton. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini Monday Madness tutorial. Um, don't forget if you're a Patreon member, you can check out the download traceable um, on my Patreon. And, uh, you know, leave any questions, leave them in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, also, don't forget to check out my amazing art channel. It's a, the acrylic channel. It's in the description box in the about page. Um, it's just another channel I like to show like myself painting uh, acrylic paintings with brushes and palette knives. 
it's not talking tutorials because it's a lot of work to do all both of those things so i can't do it all <laughs> anyway thanks guys for so much for stopping by take care and i'll speak to you soon